Welcome to Juvie's Tech. In this video, you will learn to solve another interesting problem from the lead code website, Maximum Product Subarray. When I first came across this problem, I made a huge mistake of changing only the positive sign in the code of Maximum Sum Subarray problem without giving a thought in the term product. I learned a lesson never to take any question statement for granted and always go in depth. I want to share my experience with you also. Let's move now to checking out the problem statement of the maximum product subarray problem. But before that, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon because that way you are going to get notified when I release new videos in the future. You are given an array of both positive and negative integers. The job is to find out the contiguous subarray that gives us the maximum product as well as the maximum product. Remember, you need to find a subarray, not a subsequence. A subarray is made of contiguous elements from the array. Take a good look at this problem array. The array is filled with positive and negative integers. While adding a positive integer with a negative one, the result will be negative. While adding two negative integers, the result will again be negative. However, that's not the case while doing the product of two negative integers. Multiplying two negative integers will lead to a positive integer. I never thought about it and made the grave mistake of replacing only the plus sign in my maximum sum subarray algorithm. So to obtain the correct solution, we need to keep track of the biggest negative multiplication result at every sub problem as well as the biggest positive multiplication result. This is why I create two arrays beneath my problem array. One will keep track of the minimum multiplication result that can arise and another will keep track of the maximum multiplication result. The idea behind the minimum results array is to hold the minimum product relative to a sub problem because if it happens to be negative then when multiplied to any subsequent negative integer it can produce a bigger positive product. To begin with, I'll put the value of the first cell of the problem array in the first cells of both the arrays. Now let's move to the next cell. The value is minus 3 here. So I will first multiply 6, which is the result of the first sub problem from the max array with minus 3. That will give me minus 18. Also, we will have another result candidate that is going to arise from the min array. So 6 from min array will also be multiplied to minus 3 and the result will again be minus 18. Now for the max array, I will find the maximum between my two candidates. Here both values are minus 18. So I'll get the result as minus 18. I will now compare minus 18 with minus 3 over here. We get the max value as minus 3. So I populate minus 3 in this cell of the max array hinting that a new subarray may start from here. Remember, this is only the partial result based on one array. In this problem, we need to look into both arrays in combination. For the min array, I will find the minimum between my two candidates. Here, both values are minus 18. So I'll get the result as minus 18. Now I'll compare it with minus 3 over here. By comparing it with minus 3 over here, we need to check if I need to stop the running subarray or start a new subarray. Remember, I am checking it from the point of view of minimum product result. While comparing minus 18 with minus 3, we get the minimum value as minus 18. So I populate minus 18 in this cell of the min array, hinting that the running subarray continues. And this is happening when we are trying to find the minimum product result. We move to the third cell now. The value is minus 10 in the problem array. What I do is I find my two candidates first. I multiply minus 10 with uh, minus 3 from the max array, which is the result of the previous problem. And I multiply minus 10 with minus 18 from the min array, which is also the minimum result of the previous sub problem. I get 30 and 180. Take the maximum value between them. 
which is 180 and compare it with the value of the current cell of the problem array that is minus 10 which is greater between minus 10 and 180 180 obviously so i populate 180 in this cell of the max array did you observe how the min array helped me to calculate the correct maximum product for this sub problem now let's populate the current cell of the min array here we have to pick the minimum value so between 180 and 30 we choose the minimum value that would be 30 between 30 and minus 10 the min value will be minus 10 so i populate minus 10 in this cell three sub problems solved completely now let's move to the next sub problem the next value in the problem array is zero now for the first candidate we multiply 180 with zero we are going to get zero for the next candidate we will multiply minus 10 with zero we are going to again get zero do the maximum or the minimum between zeros and the result will always be zero so without much effort i am going to populate zero in this cell of max array as well as this cell of min array now we move to the last cell of the problem array here the value is 2 0 multiplied by 2 is going to give us the first candidate as 0 0 multiplied by 2 is going to give us the second candidate as 0 again to populate the value in the last cell of the max array what we are going to do we are going to compare this 0 with 2 and find out the maximum value between 2 and 0 2 is obviously the maximum so i will populate 2 in this cell and to calculate the last value of the min array i will find out the minimum value between 2 and 0 the minimum value obviously is 0 so i am going to populate 0 in the final cell of the min array that's it we have filled both the arrays now since we are searching for the maximum product hence it is obvious that the max array is going to give us the maximum product what we are going to do now is to traverse this array and find out the maximum value the maximum value as you can see is 180 so 180 is the maximum product a sub array from this array can give and as you can see the sub array forming 180 consists of the elements 6 minus 3 and minus 10 with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you enjoyed learning the maximum product sub array problem the github link to the java solution of this problem is in the description box below do give this video a like share this video with your friends and family i look forward to help you with programming and algorithms only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself